I get it. You have been looking at the Samsung Odyssey G9 or any other large monitors and you are looking for ways to justify a possible purchase to your other half, your parents or maybe yourself. In today's video we are going to see if a bigger monitor can really increase your productivity. I just want to make it clear that I'm not referring to 49 inch monitors alone. This can also be applicable to 24 inch monitors. The whole point of this video is for us to see how a bigger monitor affects our productivity. We all have have different tasks and workflow what's necessary for me may be too much for you and vice versa but if you feel like you have now outgrown your monitor or you simply want an external monitor for your laptop then this is for you James Anderson, who is a professor of communications at the University of Utah, states that it is accepted that multiple monitors boost productivity. A computer user looking at a single larger display actually get more done than in the same amount of time than those looking at a smaller screen. He has done a follow-up study in 2003 testing how long will it take for people to edit a word processing document or a spreadsheet worksheet using single or dual display system. And he found that the sweet spot is a dual 20 inch setup or a lone 24 inch screen. He said that when you have multiple windows open, the more desktop space you have, the more material you can handle. But there does seem to be a point where adding more screen real estate doesn't produce much, if any gain in productivity. I know this study is outdated, technology have advanced so much since then, and we have more complex tasks than what was used in the study. I can't find any recent ones and basically I used this study to tell you that yes, there is a scientific evidence that a bigger monitor can indeed boost productivity. How big would you need it to be? You would know it based on your workflow. For the sake of this video, I'm going to talk about the Samsung Odyssey G9 as this is what I have chosen for myself. My old monitor was 34 inch and that was already feeling crowded. My main regular heaviest task is editing videos. That task alone can easily eat up the entire monitor if I would like to. I would need to see all of the details and everything that's on my timeline. I need a decent size of the preview. I need to see all of the effects and the scopes and all of the medias that I have imported as this will make me quicker rather than working on my M1 MacBook Pro's 13 inch screen alone. Apart from that, I also do other things in the background. And for me, that would mean switching up every time. I would have to resize Final Cut Pro, resize Safari, resize Chrome, basically patch everything up in a puzzle. And then if I would go back to editing videos alone, I would maximize Final Cut Pro. And then if I need to multitask, the puzzle game resumes. All these switching adds up and eats up some of the time that I have for work. Our workflows are all different. If you feel like you constantly switch things up a lot, maybe it's time for a bigger monitor so you can focus more on your primary tasks and spend less time on scrolling and repositioning. Larger monitor typically, although not always, so check the specs, have higher resolutions. The Samsung Odyssey G9's resolution is 5120 by 1440 and it also has a 1000 R curvature which does help with the eye strain because it follows the natural curve of the human eye which makes me work longer before I need a break and the curve also means I can see everything without having to sway my body which makes sense especially I work for several hours at a time which is normal for us. Higher resolution or larger pixel count means more amount of information displayed at once. Although nowadays most monitors or laptops even at entry levels are already decent. So again this depends on your task and your current setup. This Samsung Odyssey G9 is 49 inch. A larger screen equals to a larger real estate, which translates to more workspace for you. This means it is so much easier to multitask because there is a space for everything. So somebody who maintains a YouTube channel like myself was having to do mandatory trainings and other bits for my job and personal life. This means that I can designate a space for Final Cut Pro and for all the other programs that I use was comfortably seeing every single detail that I need. A larger real estate basically means you can put more information right in front of you, which enables you to multitask. 
Now, of course, I have more space with the Samsung Odyssey G9. This means that I can multitask more efficiently. Whilst editing videos, I would need to look for background music, maybe a new effect that I visualize for a certain video that isn't available on the Final Cut Pro library. So for that, I would need to go to Safari. With my old monitor, I would have to reshuffle things because I need the Final Cut Pro to be big. If I'm planning a video or writing a blog post, I like having multiple windows open as it makes it easier for me to research. Plus I would have Microsoft Word and my notes open. You can easily translate this in your workflow and visualize how a bigger monitor may be able to help you as a bigger screen means more information right in front of you. I just want to stress out that the size of the monitor that would suit you is entirely subjective. Having a smaller monitor than what is efficient for you means that you can't have all of the details that you need in one go. Of course, you can squish them smaller, which isn't ideal for you, or you can puzzle things up like what we said earlier, but then you would have less time focusing on your primary tasks. This means that you would have to remember all of the details that isn't visible to you. Like for me, for example, if I'm writing about something, I would read more multiple articles and studies and then I would forget some of them or when I proofread and there is something that I'm not sure of it can be just a tiny bit stressful to try and think where I got certain information from if all of my resources are laid out in front of me that will make it easier and less stressful to find the information that I need especially nowadays when we are bombarded with lots of distractions. If you are like me who relies on lists and notes that you have written as you just can't trust your brain to remember everything, then this is where a bigger monitor would benefit your workflow. So for me with my Samsung Odyssey G9, I can have all of the information I need right in front of me and that makes working easier. If a child is given a toy that they strongly desire, they get so excited and play with that toy for ages. The Samsung Odyssey G9 is an adult's version of a toy. The thing is, if you love tech, resolution, size, design, refresh rate, and other features excites you in a monitor, then this increases your satisfaction and happiness, which may inspire you to work more, which is the case for me. I know for me, I get excited using this monitor. Another thing to be excited about this Samsung Odyssey G9 is that it is great for gaming. So you can use this for gaming after work. Just don't get distracted whilst working, otherwise it will defeat all of the points that we have just raised. It is also worth mentioning the cons of having a larger monitor, which is the cost of the monitor and possibly a new desk or any other bits that you may need. And also you will need a larger space for this. This Samsung Odyssey G9 is 1200 pounds and I needed a new bigger desk for it. I have done an unboxing and a long-term review of this monitor. If you're specifically interested with this one, I will put a link on the description box. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I wish you all the best if you're trying to convince your other half or yourself or maybe maybe your parents to get the Samsung Odyssey G9. Share this video to them and my review if that's helpful and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more future videos. I'm hoping to get my first 1000 subscribers this year and I'd appreciate if you'd be one of my first 1000s. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Paalam!